going on guys so I'm heading over to uh, another town here over outside of Dothan Alabama uh, I got a buddy over there he's got a, got a 2007 Harley Sportster it's a 1200 uh, he said it hasn't been ran since I think I think uh, 2013 so it's been laying on its side I was over there not too long ago I seen it uh, just sitting there on its side I stood it up uh, everything looks good on it so see what happens. Like, I get it running today. I got battery too, so we'll see. I about fired up. All right, guys, here she is. She's a little dented up on the tank there. It's been laying out here. Yeah, 13. 13. This thing's just, she's a little dirty. She's laying down for a little bit of her life. But we'll see what we can't do on it. Digital odometer. I'll see here in a minute how many miles are on it. Got it pushed up here, put some air in tires. A few things were wrong with it. A couple things broke, a bunch of things broke actually. But I'm gonna go ahead and blow it off and then I'm gonna give it a quick bath before I start working on it. All right guys, I ain't got no soap or nothing but I did get this thing washed here it's looking pretty good I just degreased the engine and sprayed it down I don't have a pressure washer and I don't really I mean it ain't clean by any means but it's clean enough to work on for me I'm not too worried about it I'm gonna get it in there drain all the fluids out of it drain the primary drain the engine put some new plugs in it I'm gonna... all right guys bugs really don't make me too squeamish but I just popped this air cleaner off right just took this air cleaner off and when I opened that thing up, the amount of roaches that flew out of that thing, it scared me, boys. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it. I took it off and they just said, Phew. All right, this air cleaner is absolutely disgusting. this old filter off i got the plugs out got some wd-40 soaking in there i was going to put some uh, atf but the funnel i got will not fit in there and i don't want to make a mess so a little spritz wd-40 in there i pulled the oil filter off drained it all out got a brand new oil filter about to put it on we'll go ahead and throw this thing on real quick let me switch hands on the camera Put this thing in here real quick. I did oil the O-ring on that and the seal, the thread, sorry. Get some fresh oil on there for adequate lubrication. That way it doesn't have a dry seal sitting on there. But I don't know, man, when I took this thing off too, it was on there so damn tight. Just hand tight, it's all they need to be. Done deal, that's it. I bought the wrong battery. Positive's just supposed to be up here and the negative's supposed to be up here instead of in the back. The old battery was just complete opposite. Not a big deal. I'm gonna take it back and get another one. But, oh, we got ants too. Ant infestation, baby. They're gonna get treated with some bright clean here in a little bit. But I got the plugs out. I'm just gonna, this is the main computer. That's to the starter. I'm just gonna jump the starter to the battery. That way I can hit the switch because it's not gonna do anything right now. All you're gonna do. Woo! Put some gas in it. Pump sounded a little rough, but it just clicked. So let me hook the power up to that. I just want to turn it over to make sure those cylinders aren't seized. Got that one on there. Get on there, come on. Dude, these ants are something else. I did just change the oil. It's got brand new filter, brand new oil for the motor, brand new oil for the uh primary drive so i just want to crank it over with the cylinders open Woo! got a face full of wd-40 right there god damn
All right. We're in action, dude. We are in action. Put these plugs in. We're going to run it up. Oh, yeah, we got a brand new Fram filter on it. All Mobile One V-Twin oil. But one thing I want to say is, is it is someone's chopped them. Well, they didn't chop. They just unbolted these pipes. And they're not hooked up to the crossover. And it's probably going to be pretty loud. It's missing a brake lever. Uh, someone took that. They took the pegs. So apparently someone needed them. Uh, like I said, it was just laying over there. Laying over there in the dirt. So someone helped themselves to them pegs and the front or the foot brake for the rear. All right, guys. So I pulled the battery out. Hooked it up like this because even with that thing jumped, it wasn't getting enough amps. I was checking the amps right here going to that starter or the voltage going to that starter with it jumped. It wasn't getting the right amount of current. So we'll try it again like this and see what happens. Uh, run and start, baby. Let's see what happens. in the world you want to chop the pipes like that but it's running That lizard, that lizard just ran, oh, there he is. Yeah, he just come off this thing too. There's all kinds of animals and things on this, dude. It's wild. crossovers off it's all just chilling <laughs> but you fire right up missing a foot peg but gonna do it for us today i'm just waiting right now waiting on uh trying to figure out more information about this thing so i need to get a this oil hose right here that one it's all oily you can see it right under that belt that one it's got a hole in it right where it goes into the passageway it's just a drain for the tank but it's leaking so it's real slow but that ain't no good because that's all your oil right there Ain't gonna do you no good. Gotta get an air cleaner for it. That one's junk. And then the throttle, it sticks. That's fucking cruise control for you right there. Oh yeah, baby. Listen to that thing. Needs a break. It works, but it's a little bent. Mirror, mirror's getting it too. Front fender, man, that thing's tweaked. I pulled it back just a little bit so it was off the tire, but that's nothing. Just need to get this front right foot peg right here. The bolts are broken off in it, like I said. Someone must have really needed it more than I do, apparently. 
They just snapped the bolts off in it and said, no thanks. But it needs a new foot peg. I'll drill all that out, retap it, put a new foot peg on it. The brake assembly, it's missing the foot brake. It's master cylinder still there, so that's the most expensive part. I already called on it. That's cool. No worries. But it needs a set of headers or pipes, I guess you'd call them. Get some new wind pipes on it. I don't, I don't like all that tomfoolery. Like that's part of the exhaust right there. This whole thing, junk. It's gotta come off, throw it in trash. I don't know, we'll figure out something, see what we can find, search the webs and get a new uh, set of pipes on her. Probably put a new uh, drive belt on it. It's been sitting for a while. It's probably the factory belt, so it couldn't hurt to get a new one. But other than that, it's pretty solid. I did drain the gas out of it, put some fresh gas in there and 